Dr. Kennedy. How Hi, are you? Coco. Great to see you. Yes. So I, I see lots of pink. Yep. Yay! Pink color. I know, Yay. right? I know. Finally, yes. And we're on sale. Yes. yes, Black Friday sale. Yes, the big Black what? Friday sale. Happy but Thanksgiving. Be before we talk about Black Friday, tell us what this is for. Yes, exactly. So my background, just so everyone knows that I am double boarded. I'm a medical physician and I am double boarded in both anatomic and clinical pathology. Mm. So that's my background. Spent half my life in the hospital looking at chronic diseases underneath the microscope for year after year. And so mm. it's really nice to do something that's preventative rather than seeing the end stages of these chronic diseases that we want to stave off. Mm -hmm. And so I created some tools as I started to advance in age and notice health changes that I was not happy with, uh, some of my lab work, uh, and I put it together that it was mouth breathing because I had bad allergies and mm. as entering midlife, estrogen decreases, our muscles atrophy, weekend, there's bone loss, mm. all these different changes are going on. So I created two complementary tools, the original triangle and the butterfly tool, mm. which are used for resistance training to engage the muscles in the mid face, lower face, jawline underneath the chin area. But the big, the big the big exercises that I really want people to do are the tongue strengthening exercises with the two. Mm -hmm. These are really, um, it's all important. It's like you have to mm -hmm. have a good strong lip seal strength. You have to have good cheek function. All this is really important, but it is the tongue that is the most important to be strong and up on the palate, which mm -hmm. Coco does. You do such an amazing job mm -hmm. helping teach that Coco, you know, yeah. to strengthen the tongue and get the tongue, the full tongue, all the way to the posterior one third up on the palate. You want it all up there on the palate. And yeah. so that can be challenging. Our big epidemic, as we all know, is snoring and obstructive sleep apnea right now. Mm -hmm. This is the big epidemic in our society. And we need to educate more about what are some simple things that we can do to stave off some of these changes. Remember, mm -hmm. women, women catch up to men in terms of snoring when they reach menopause. Mm. Snoring, oh, really? Mm. Snoring is the bad you're, you're heading down a bad health sequelae once you begin snoring. Mm. Like I said, so we really, as women and the men that may watch this too, you, you really, snoring is a sign of dysfunction. So if you mm -hmm. have an open mouth position, you're snoring at night, your spouse, your child, your friend, or somebody says, gosh, you're, you're snoring. These are, that's a sign of dysfunction and, and you should take action before you have the potential to progress mm. even worse risk mm -hmm. factors for hypertension, diabetes, obesity, and the stroke and sudden death as you progress to obstructive mm -hmm. sleep apnea. That's why it's an emergency mm -hmm. and you want to treat it rapidly. So mm -hmm. anyway, that's, I could talk about this for hours and hours. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. So now we, uh, you do Black Friday. What's the sale? How much is it? Yes. Yeah, so 50% off when purchasing through your link. So use mm -hmm. Coco's link. Um, so purchase through there and then you just enter the beauty balloon 40 code mm. when you check out and there's oh, a pop so up window 10% discount plus a 40 in total 50%. Yes. 50%. Which is like, uh, I would assume it's the biggest, biggest, lowest price. Huge, yes. Huge, so this is a fantastic opportunity to mm -hmm. load up on your beauty balloon, give mm -hmm. it out as gifts to your loved ones. Mm -hmm. You're doing something for their health. This is about health and we know the aesthetic benefits, of course, are a mm -hmm. more sculpted and lifted face. Right. And with the tongue up on the palate, it acts as a maxillary or palate expander, if you will. Mm -hmm. Right. In the childhood, we, the tongue is a an expander. And then mm -hmm. as an adulthood, we can think of it as a retainer, really. Right. As, a, as mm -hmm. almost like a retainer. So we don't have that involution of the palate of the maxillary bone as we age. So, so the, do you believe that even after you grown up, you we can kind of expand the palate by doing the exercise and mewing tongue posture? Well, we certainly will halt that change, mm -hmm. right? And if we can halt the progression of the more of the vaulted palate by doing these tongue strengthening exercises and mm -hmm. keeping the lip seal, we mm. certainly can help maintain our bones, mm. right? That's That's the whole concept of skeletal muscle movement in the body, right? Mm. So if you can keep your tongue up there and you don't have eight hours of sleeping where your tongue is down, that is going to help hold the palate where you want it to be. So we can certainly 
prevent it from involuting more. Mm. Can we expand it? That would be very difficult and it would probably take a very long time. And yes. I'm not really yeah, that's... sure that we can mm -hmm, truly mm -hmm. change it, but we can certainly do a lot of things, Coco, that will help you look better if you feel like your bones are starting to involute. You can you can hypertrophy so your peaks. You, you can, think there's like a lot that, that we can, can do. Prevent it. Prevent it from shrinking. Yes, we want to stop it. And if you mm -hmm. start doing these types of exercises, the younger you are, the better off you are through life. Mm -hmm. Because you're going to so help maintain interesting your... uh, intake is from Dr. Satsuma, my facial chiropractor. He believes that even after you've grown up, you can expand. Naturally, yes. without yes. Now, I, medical Of course, procedure. for me, in my background, a medical physician, I would need evidence-based studies. Mm -hmm. And of course, mm -hmm. those to do those studies, who's going to do them? Who's going to sponsor them, right? And what is the yeah. game for a large, big pharma to do something like that? So those yeah. are always the challenges. But rather than evidence-based, you could say evidence-informed, right? Mm -hmm. We are we have evidence that shows oh, evidence that chewing informed. helps to maintain bone in the jaws, right? Mm -hmm. That's why you would have, uh, and one of my goals, Coco, because, you know, I'm, I'm up there in years, folks. I am, you know, I'm going to be 58 next month. Mm, so, oh, you look great. Thank you. But, you know, I'm doing these exercises and I'm doing, I'm in the gym, you know, I'm lifting weights. I'm doing things like this. I want to have, I want to have the highest quality of life that we can. Mm -hmm. And this is an area of the head and neck from the clavicle up. The head and neck region to me is overlooked. We have to me going on the journey of learning about all of this issue with mouth breathing and the tongue posture position. And of course, I'm a long time allergy sufferer mm. and I wore or I had uh, retraction orthodontics in my youth. And so here I am a U U.S. medical trained physician, and I'm in my 50s now learning about airway, cranial facial bone growth, it is astonishing to me that that this has not moved faster back into mm -hmm. more, uh, back into our conventional dentistry and mm -hmm. medicine, but it's it's mm -hmm. getting there. It's getting there where it's, it's, it's a little slow to happen, but we are yeah. getting there. So um, even doctors, they don't know. They don't know much about general doctors. They might not no, know no. the importance of it. Like uh, I talked to like uh, some another physician. She doesn't know anything about that. Oh, is uh, mouth breathing bad? She asked me. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Can mouth breathing change your structure? She yes. asked me. Or follows the structure. Of course it's bad. <laughs> <laughs> I know. And trust me, Coco, I was right there. I will, you know, I was right there too, right? Mm -hmm. And so when I'm looking under the microscope and I'm looking at all these diseases with ischemic change, right? You know, amputated toes, ischemic ulcers, decubitus ulcers, and on and on it goes, right? Carotid endorectomies. All of this is oxidative stress in one form mm -hmm. or another. And of course, contributing factors, smoking, all the other health risk factors that we know. Uh, type two diabetes, overloaded with glucose, everything. These are response to injury that the tissues are going through. But if you can oxygenate, okay, if we can get back to just the basics of what I call the basics, airway, breathing, circulation. Mm -hmm. And this, this is one way that I feel like that I can help, right? As a pathologist, I don't actually treat patients. So I'm the doctor's doctor, right? Mm -hmm. The doctors mm -hmm. will come to me for what mm -hmm. is this? You know, what mm -hmm. is this, you know? And so- this is something that can help strengthen the airway muscles as they become more floppy as mm -hmm. we age. And mm -hmm. then we know the wonderful benefits, Coco, that you talk about are aesthetic. So it's a win-win. You're mm -hmm. winning on your health from a functional standpoint, and you're winning on helping to maintain your aesthetics. Because we mm. know if you're healthy, you're just going to look better. So if mm -hmm. you're healthy from the neck up, you're going to also look better. No different mm -hmm. than the body. Yes. You know? And that's why everyone works so hard on the body. Well, if, if we spend some time and the good news is it doesn't take a lot of time. No. Just, you know what I mean? Just a few, mm. few minutes a day to mm -hmm. help do some of these. Really okay. So let's things. let, yeah, let's do the exercise. Yeah. Yeah. So we can do, we start with the tongue. Mm -hmm. We can do the tongue. We'll work with the butterfly. Yes. Um, we know that we can do the push pull where you push the tongue and you pull mm -hmm. back for resistance mm -hmm. training. These are all mm -hmm. resistance training. So mm -hmm. you can see what to Coco's doing. She's taking the tongue and she's putting it right in the attachment part mm -hmm. and pulling back. And you can do both 
you can hold for five seconds to really get that. So I'm doing a pushing out. Mm -hmm. Skinny this tongue. Is in. Uh -huh. Skinny tongue. Mm -hmm. You want pointy tongue, pointy mm -hmm. tongue. To, Not to fat. Skinny tongue. Yeah. Skinny tongue. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So you do that till you really feel some fatigue in there. And mm. like I said, you can hold it or you can do the repetitions, right? Mm. So you want to, you want to do both. That's, I call that the slingshot because it's kind of like a slingshot. Uh, my kids helped me name some of these funny names. And then the other one we're going to do. Number two. Mm. Number two, we'll do the mm. two step where you put the tongue through one of the two triangles. Tongue mm. goes opposite to the motion mm. of the tool. And again, this is wonderful so, for resistance. Tongue is a, uh, and this is a, uh, uh huh. Uh, yeah. Uh huh. Opposite. Mm. Opposite. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when the tongue is in, you pull the tool opposite. Mm. Uh huh. And so again, you can hold hold one side and count up to five seconds. Again, isometric where you're holding, and then the repetitions back and forth. And I will tell you about the third rep. I really start to feel that underneath here. Mm. Rather than trying to do that for a minute or whatever, you can do. And That's too long. Why yeah, minutes, exactly. Too one, long. Of, one, one of the things that I was frustrating for me when I started to do some of the facial exercises and movements was I didn't feel like I was progressing fast enough. And I didn't mm. feel, I felt like, okay, I can do that all day long. Mm. But when I added in the resistance, that was a game changer. That yeah. was a game changer. And I noticed my jawline started to tighten up. All these mm. muscles started to really lift, which I was very thankful for as a double win to try mm. to stop snoring. My goal was to stop, to stop that bad habit of the open mouth position with my allergies. Mm. And, um, and I've been able to reverse that. I have, and I've done it through good old fashioned exercise mm. uh, when I've done it. So that's the two steps side mm -hmm. to side. Yeah. And then this one. Number three. Uh-huh. Friendly lamb. Uh-huh. And so what Coco's doing, the tongue goes out and over, and mm. then you pull up on the beauty balloon as you push downward. And you can see mm. how she's flexing her head just a little bit. Mm. And always good posture, shoulders are down, of course, in the back. Always, we're going to learn these in the mirror first mm. to get our form down. And so you can see that. And what she mentioned is the frenulum. This is the frenulum, mm. this vertical tissue there. That is the attachment point for the tongue. Mm. And mm. what can happen a lot is it's short and therefore mm. it is problematic for folks to get the tongue up high on the palate where it needs mm. to be. They cannot do this. It's always and like a lot of people, here. A lot of people don't know that they have it, Coco. They, they don't realize it unless mm. they have been examined, you know, by their healthcare provider. And so that's really important to get checked out. If you have a real challenge to get that tongue up, you might have a tongue tie. Mm. And then if you have a tongue, if you, and then you want to look for other oral tethers. These are called oral tethers, your lip tie, cheek tie, other types of things. Mm. A good evaluation in infancy should, should find these, but a lot of the time it can go overlooked. And there are many adults walking around with tongue ties, lip ties, mm. that with a but release. not mm. necessarily you have to cut, right? If you do exercise. Right, you right. You need and, to cut it. Right. If you keep the tissue supple, right? The whole goal is we want to keep our tissue supple, mm. uh, you know, uh, uh, buoyancy. We want to create space within the tissues. And these are great movement, right? We're talking about basic movement. It's like a, it's like a massage. It's almost like massaging the frenulum mm -hmm. to loosen mm -hmm. it. That's really what you're doing as mm. you are stimulating it and making the tissues more supple mm. and the same thing. Yep, exactly. So I love that. I love those three because they're fast. They're that you knock them out. You've got good resistance. The tongue is out. Anytime you put the tongue up and out, it's always mm. a great thing, you know, doing that. And, um, it's easy. And then of course this straight through. So number um, four, over, mm -hmm, these are, mm. so, there's so many you all to do. And then you, again, you can go side to side again through the triangle. As you put your tongue through the triangle, that's also causing more resistance too. Are you talking about number four? Uh -huh. So that's just a really simple one because you're going mm. out and over. Yep, perfect. Yep, straight out. That, I call those a tongue hurdle because mm. you're going kind of through over the bar. Uh -huh. mm. And again, all this area, you're going to lift all, all this area is 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 so great and then this one of course one of my favorites because i i do this one quite a bit 
where I take the apex. So you're, you, the great thing about these tools is you can utilize the apex or the base. You can manipulate them apex in, base in, and same thing in and around within the cheek area. So this one is utilizing the apex behind apex the lower Apex means teeth. that corner. Apex, yep. I'm using the original triangle for this one, just the original mm. triangle. Apex behind the lower teeth. Take your tongue, hold it in place. And then you can gently move it side to side. Mm. You're just engaging the tongue. It's mm. like this with the apex. And mm. then what you do is you say kick or guh. Say kick or guh. And that brings the back of the tongue up on the palate. So kick, hick, 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 or guh. Gary, you can say guh as in Gary. That also yeah. helps really uh, strengthen that. Uh, and it's harder to do than if you don't have a tool. The other benefit, the aesthetic hook, benefit hook, is you're getting hook. the floor of the mouth muscle. So all anyone out there that is watching this, if you have a double chin and you want to try to really work on a double chin, this is your exercise right here because mm -hmm. I can't speak when I do these. So watch <laughs> on the side. Mm. That is a great way to engage the hard, very hard to reach floor of the mouth muscles. Mm. I really don't know many more moves uh, uh, that you can really get in there and get to these floor of the mouth muscles, which mm. are almost like a hammock. I think of them as a sling cocoa, kind of like a hammock that they run from one ramus to the other ramus of the mandible. And What's here, ramus? Like mm -hmm. It's like a sling. And there's a bunch of layers of different muscles and the floor of the mouth muscles. And this is all tissue under here. And so if you can help tighten up those muscles, right? Mm -hmm. So they go from this to that, right? You don't want this, you want that. That can help so much to get bring you back some more of that wonderful shape that we would like to have. And, okay. you know, so that's a great, simple exercise. And like I said, you can add in the vocal then as well. So I love you that. You say kick. 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 Kick with the K. And Gary. Kick and G, G, G. Or kick, kick, kick. Or G, A. Uh-huh. G as in Gary. And then the K as in kick. Kick, 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 G, G, G. And see so now, you see what I'm doing. G, I, C, K or K, I, C, K. K I K I C K kick kick mm -hmm. the k kick. So what's the G thing? G would be Gary. You can say g g. So you are introducing two sounds. Yes, you can do two okay. sounds that help you get that back of the tongue mm -hmm. up exactly. Mm -hmm. Two vocal sounds exactly. G g g g g kick kick kick. If you say kick, huh? Uh, and then what you want to try to do, like I, I said, think... I like to just use the, the triangle when I'm doing Yeah, I don't those. have it right now. Oh, you don't? Yeah. Um, I like to do that when I do that. Um, and what, what you want to try to do is not engage, not cheat and use any other muscles. This is strictly isolating the tongue. So that's mm. the, that's the key. That's mm -hmm. what makes it so challenging. Mm. And I will tell you, this is a common exercise that's done in therapy. If you, if anybody's in therapy or rehab or things like this, maybe you're undergoing rehab for stroke or something like this. These are exercises oh, okay. that are also done to help bring mm -hmm. back mm -hmm. that tongue strength. So mm -hmm. you can swallow. It, it helps with the proper swallow pattern, right? For because speech therapy? Speech therapy too. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I love those. That's kind of a neat little tricky one there that you can do, um, you know, for, to engage that tongue area as well. Um, and then we can work on lips. You want to do want to do a little bit for the lips or which maybe? one? Oh, um, the one we did. Oh, wait, the big one. Hang on. Sorry about that. Hang <laughs> on. More more for the snoring. The row. So for that one, take your two fingers. Take your two fingers and put the base. So it's in mm -hmm. this direction. Mm -hmm. So you put your two fingers here, and then you're going to take the tongue, hook it.
and hold. Bring it all the way back and hold. Ah. Oh. Oh. And really stretch the back there. And I can really feel it on both sides of the throat as I pull it way back in there. You can also punch through and touch the roof of the mouth as well. But I love that one. I feel like after I do that, it just my tongue just flops right back where it needs to be up high yeah. and opens up my airway. I love that. And then the other one is the tongue wag, Coco, this one too. Uh-huh. Uh. Much harder to do than without a tool. Uh. I see people do that all the time. I can do that forever, but when I add the tool you have to control the muscle it, it's it's much harder to do and that these things have helped me open up my airway so mm -hmm. i have a very strong airway and i breathe better I do my, I keep my um, nasal passages clean with my nasal saline flushes with the allergies, but this has mm. helped me Coco tremendously mm. to bring back this area. So I'm functioning as I should be and not, mm. and stop the mouth breathing. Mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and stop but that. after the exercise naturally really goes up flat. Exactly. It naturally Not, goes like up. instant. <laughs> it, instant. Exactly. Uh -huh. You feel it. Yeah. Exactly. It's instant. Because uh -huh. that's where the tongue should be. And that, exactly. That's why I love these exercises with the resistance. And I call mm. that the tongue wag, you know, like a, like a, like a wag, you know, cause you're wagging back and forth, the tongue wag. Mm. That's not in the book. Some of these that I'm showing, unfortunately are not in the book because I, I there are so many, otherwise this book would be <laughs> five, you know, this book would be five inches thick uh, mm. with all the different maneuvers that we can do. So mm. that's the tongue wag, Coco, that one. Yeah, I love that. Okay. What's next? And we can do, so we did those. Let me just check real quick. I want to make sure mm. we're not missing anything. Like the I lip. Oh. Yeah. We want to do the lip. Let's work on some lip exercises. Mm. So we showed the hurdles. Yep. We did mm. the twist. So let's do the lip. And you do such a great job talking about the benefits of really focusing on the upper lip. And, mm. and, and, yeah. And upper Cause lip everyone and focus on all the lip. I'm mm -hmm. focusing on upper. No one else. Everyone is doing the, all the lip. That's not the point. Right. Right. And it's hard. We know that the orbicularis oris muscle mm, is a round it. muscle. And we mm. know it's very, very hard to isolate and only contract the upper. So what mm. you can do is stop the lower from moving. And that's mm. where you can use your hands when you want to just only engage the upper part. And I love what Coco's showing there. That's the lip extension. And it gives you the support in your jaw. So it keeps your jaw symmetric. So that way these exercises train you to do them consistently over time. And you're doing them mm. holding the correct posture of the jaw. Because everybody's jaws are a little bit off, mm -hmm. you know, for one reason or the other, right? I mean, some people have more asymmetry than others, depending on our bad habits. And I'm right there with you on bad sli sleeping mm. pattern. If you favor one side, I'm a mouth. I mean, I'm, I'm a stomach sleeper and that has to do with the way that I was breathing, you know, mm -hmm. stomach sleepers are usually going to be a mouth breather and I've had to try to change it. And it's a struggle for me. I, I mean, it's a struggle, mm -hmm. but you know, so how you sleep, how you chew, how you speak, all these things matter with asymmetries of the face that we're all working to try to correct as best as we can. But I mm -hmm. love that because she's engaging the superficial fibers of the muscle, the orbicularis oris in order to be able to plump them up. So you get that nice little flip right there that we all like mm. in that Cupid's bow area where she's got her fingers so she can kind of stop the motion of the lower lip mm. and really focus on her upper lip. And that gives the ability to grab something. When I was doing these without, without something to grab, my mm. lips were so floppy. When I began, I was like doing this and this and I could not get it correct. Mm. That was the one of the things and the triangle with it being a point complements the way the lips move, because when you contract the lips, they have to slightly move forward. And that's the perfect complementary shape is that triangular apex as you do that motion. 
as she's contracting the superficial fibers of the orbicularis oris, it allows a, a really beautiful, so look how that looks really great, Coco. Mm. It allows that beautiful motion for people to perform tools. Tools help us perform tasks better. If I went to the gym and I didn't have my yoga blocks, I didn't have my TRX strap, I would never perform as well if I if I didn't have those tools. And I I, I joke, Coco, you probably heard me say this. I call these my TRX strap for my for my my mouth. You know, I love the mm. TRX strap because mm -hmm. it's efficient. Mm -hmm. Yep, I do my triceps, biceps, I can do mm. my squats, I can do my lats, right? Overhead laps, a tricep. Mm. Same thing with this. You can do so many different exercises, multitasking, and you knock it out so much quicker. And that's that's what I, that was, you know, we're busy, right? We're all busy. <laughs> we're busy. Mm. Um, so yeah, so that one, the lip extension, and then mm -hmm. we know you can throw the cheek pop in that as well too. But mm -hmm. this one, yep. So she's doing the cheek pop. And beautiful sy symmetry because the tool is allowing the symmetry. And it's not, a, it's not a heavy bite either. This is just a barely a tap on her. It's not a, it's not a bite at all. It's just mm -hmm. allows, it allows mm -hmm. you to position your jaw. It brings the jaw slightly forward, which always a great mm -hmm. thing, which elongates the zygomaticus muscles. She's engaging the zygomaticus major and the zygomaticus minor muscles which originate on the zygomatic bone. And so what I love about that Coco, it is stressing the bone in a healthy way, right? I call it strategic stress. I call it strategic stress. Mm. So I love that, that she's getting those areas. And again, it's not a heavy bite. It's just allowing her for stability of her jaw mm. and elongating the muscles. So they have to contract even harder when she does that. And you can hold for a lip plank. You can hold it. So you say, oh, and of course the motion is, oh, oh, oh. Um, another one was just hold it was mm -hmm. another seven. Mm -hmm. I think it was mm -hmm. six. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love that. Right. And V and she's saying V is in Victor and holding that. And again, that's mm. the isometric where she's holding the V for Victor. Mm. And that's that just helps lift all of the mid face, all of the mid face, opening up all of the mid face there as she's holding saying V, V is in Victor in her mind. And therefore, and you can feel it with your fingers. So you know that you're, you're contracting in here as well. That also sometimes used to help me when I was first really gaining that mental ability to to get to the muscles that I wanted to engage you kind of have to focus and think about it mm. um you know which which and, and you'll get those connections really really with with tactile stimulation or I'm talking about tactile stimulation in order to help know where you want to contract and and being in the mirror will help you so much too at first mm. as you're learning it you know doing mm. them in the mirror mm -hmm. mm. yeah exactly as you first learn your form and then you can take it out on your walk or, or whatever you're doing. So exactly. So we've done um, that. The and of course, one, the lip compress, one? you can just use the apex if you want to start and focus just on the cupid's bow to compress or tuck up the apex um, here. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. so, exactly. So you can use a, you can use that one as a handle. So they tuck in. If somebody to Coco wants to do a full circle, they can use both. They can tuck the base underneath the upper lip and the base underneath the lower lip. Should they want to do that as well? Somebody that maybe, um, you know, also I always kind of come back to therapy because these are the things that I've witnessed in therapy, right? In my life, in the hospital, on our neuro floors, on the rehab floors. And so these are, these are really great things to do to keep this, the lip seal strength, right? Because if you're in a chronic open mouth position, the whole muscle will weaken and you want to bring back that strength for lip seal strength so you can keep your lips closed, which is so important in order to nasal breathe. You have so to this have- So how do you do the exercise like this? So, uh -huh. so what I do, I grab it and I always, I always call it an elegant in, elegant out of the mouth. So I always kind of rotate it in and then I'll slide the base up underneath the upper lip mm. and slide the other base 
below the lower lip. So watch. So go in. Oh, inside the mouth. Uh -huh. Okay. And you're saying, oh, 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 right here. Ah, here. There you go. Mm. Uh huh. There you go. Oh, 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 here. Mm -hmm. ah. So it's in both. Mm. So oh, on the to on top of the teeth. Uh huh. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. In the gum area, directly mm -hmm. underneath the lips. So for lip ties and any kind of adhesed or fibrotic tissue. Mm. There you go. Mm -hmm. oh, 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 oh. So on top of the teeth. Yes. Down in the gum. Yes. Uh huh. Mm. Right. Exactly. Okay. Oh. oh. I think it looks like you probably had the man, you had the men's size. I think you're using the larger one. This Maybe. is the mm -hmm. one, but um, I, I had them in original sizes, but this is the one for women. So, so like I said, I go in and then I just slide one up and under. Oh, and then you can do two cock. And so that's great to bring back the entire lip seal strength, mm. particularly for the snores, mm -hmm. right? Particularly for those that, that really are struggling with that because what else are you going to do? And, and I love these exercises because if you are in a mandibular advancement device, one of the oral appliances, these will help as well, right? Mm. These, these are just going to, help you in your oral appliance as well. If you are on CPAP, if you're on CPAP and no one's talked to you about some doing so, these types of exercises, try to really talk, try to get in the hands of a healthcare provider or a therapist or someone that can help work with you on these types of really good exercises to engage the tongue and the lip seal uh, strength all, all in here are really important. So I, I like that one, Coco. If somebody wants to get the whole entire lip, we mm. know from the aesthetics that, that what you and I will talk about sometimes is focusing more on the upper lip. So, but you can do both, um, of course, you mm. know, doing that, um, with the, with the lip area there, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, um, so. And the, I think the last one from the seven exercise when we did was the hold it. I uh -huh. Yeah. Yep, the cheeks suck. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, exactly. And that's so wonderful for, you know, from the aesthetic appointment, jowls. We hate our jowls, right? We hate jowling. And so that helps bring up all this area as well, right? We don't like, that helps define the jawline, right? That cheek. And when you it, when you pull in the air, you're, the muscle has to work harder because it's working against the resistance. When mm. you have these tucked into your cheek and you have to, suck it in your the muscle is working harder the buccinator muscle and the rhizorous muscles right those are the muscles these lower cheek two muscles yes wonderful this oh one. good yeah thanks this so, one yeah, and this exactly one. so yeah. those muscles are key for moving food bolus uh that helps you pop your food bolus mm. uh, into the central part of your tongue for proper swallow pattern so all these muscles, tongue, lip, and cheek muscles really need to work in harmony. Um, we want to avoid that dynamic muscle discord that happens, you know, as mm. we age or illness or injury. So that's all wonderful. And then from the aesthetic standpoint, like we said, we help, it helps with the jowling um, mm -hmm. there, you know, with that. So you can suck, suck it in and you can also blow, blow air through. So you can in, inhale, inhale your cheeks, lightly tap to stimulate that lymphatic flow and then also, um, you know, suck it in. So this is one that I really like too, Coco. If you also people want to work on their asymmetries, they can use the single triangle in one side. So this is something that I've been doing because I can do it hands-free in the car. Oh, go in. So it's always an easy in, easy out. You just twist it in, twist it out. In, and now then. So you are just doing like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I can do either side, right? I can blow air. I can suck in the air. Mm. 
So in my my picture, we make it red, which means overworking muscle. But do you think this should be blue? Blue is a sleepy muscle, box near dirt and the resorius. Well, what what that what you can that's gonna help help with the jowls, right? We're gonna we're gonna help with the jowls. That'll help us bring up this area, right? So, so we get more of that triangular shape, right? We want we don't we don't want floppy areas here, right? We do want to tighten it up. So um, this is more like a lazy muscle. I wouldn't say it's lazy, but it can certainly weaken, and that will contribute to all this kind of going down a little bit if it's not nice and taut. Mm. I like I I. I I don't think you can overwork those, you know what I mean, in mm. that area. Now, the depressors, yes. We, yeah, we the well, depressors. because it's connected to the depressor and the masseter, we made it red, but maybe this should be blue. I like I like to pull these up. I like, mm. but what I also like, too, is be sure to massage the masseter, right? Our masseters are the culprit, right, the masseter. But mm. I like to keep them, I like to keep mine firm. I mean, that's just my personal uh opinion and I feel like it's made a huge difference in terms of my jowls you know at my age I should be down here you know mm. um and so okay but I like this I like to punch the tongue through the hole right because okay. again you're strengthening the tongue and you have to control it and when you have the tool in it's resistance right mm. when you have this in it's passive resistance it's isometric so if I just walked around with that in my cheek. Mm. You're not doing anything? Right. The puffing? Mm -hmm. mm. That's just passive isometric. It's increasing space in the tissue that's allowing, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's a passive isometric exercise because I've added this in here. The muscles mm. are pushing against it, right? Mm. And then you always keep your tongue up. You keep that tongue strong, right? So you're, you keep your teeth, you keep your maxilla, you keep the palatal shape as you can, but you keep your muscles t tight and toned and lifted as mm. much as we can, you know, in there. Uh, okay. But I like that. Strengthening all these muscles again to prevent that open mouth position as we, mm. you know, that open mouth, which allows all this stuff to come south. Mm. Um, you know, which we want to avoid. And then we can do that symmetrical chewing, you know, the tools. I'll just. Oh, we did. Didn't we? Uh -huh. And I use one for that one. Sometimes I find it might slip a little. So I'll just use one like this. Mm. And I love that because you're getting, like you said, Coco, the temporalis muscle to prevent temporal wasting. We get that temporal wasting up here, right? As we age and mm. if we're not, you know, if we're converting, we're eating soft foods, you know, we want to keep the weight of the face up here. And that's the whole concept behind the triangle of youth. What she's showing is the triangle of youth is high cheekbones, full cheeks, a defined jawline. This is part of it as you keep the bulk of the face, if you will, the bulk of the face up high. And that's part of these big temporalis muscles up here. So we don't get that temporal wasting that 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 we see. And it becomes more like a hollow or a skeletal type of look that you can see. And they are putting mm. fillers, you know, in the temporal area to help fill that out. Well, why not work on bulking up your muscles, right? Because you're going to keep your function better. Anytime you can build lean muscle mass and keep it strong and tight and tone, you're better off. And if you still want to use your fillers, absolutely. This will just complement the fillers. It will help give it, the fillers more structure, a, a harder, firmer foundation to rest upon um, if they're doing it. Because remember, fillers are injected into the deep dermis, into the subcutaneous tissue, or along the bone, along the periosteum. And why do they do that? Because they want to bring back contours. It's about shaping and contours, a more youthful shape, a more lifted shape. And that's where they would use the super deep injections along the bone because there's bone loss as we age. So work your muscles because they'll help, you know, give you that stronger structural foundation sculpt a more sculpted look and then you might find out coco to use a little less filler right and that's really how they were intended to be used the overdone overfilled look is is not a, a natural look 
And so they're complementary. Build the muscle, build the foundation, and throw on a little bit of filler. Do a little microneedling. Do all those other wonderful things that you're doing for your skin. And it's a win-win. This is another, um, another way to really help bring back more shape. This is about shaping and sculpting in terms of bringing the muscle as you're lifting, because really the only way to lift the face is formal plastic surgery, um, or you've got to get, you've got to get doing some resistance training, some muscle exercise, right? Same mm. with the body. How are you going to lift your body? Well, you have to lift weights, right? How do you tone up your arms? You have to, you know, fill in that volume with muscle. It's muscle hypertrophy. Mm -hmm. So, um, I love that. I love that one. Um, so you can do all these different, you know, these, yeah. So oh, all love the this. exercises are in your website, right? Uh-huh. Mm. So if you are interested in the exercises, check the website, beautyballoon.com, so that you can mm -hmm. see that exercise. And I highly suggest Dr. Kennedy put on all the playlists, all in one videos, so that they don't yeah. have to click one by one. It's, yeah. It'll be easier yeah. for you, for regular people to see everything in one video. Yeah. Like three and minutes or something. Absolutely. Um, and I can just do like a few reps because otherwise the tape will be so long, mm. <laughs> um, you know, but this one too, Coco, this is not in the, in the, in the, okay. It's a new one. This gets that, that I wanted to show you these about protruding the jaw forward, right? We mm. like the mandible going forward. And I just, I use my incisors, the front incisors. Oh, you don't have the original triangle. You just have the butterfly yeah. with you right now. Uh -huh, yeah, uh -huh. that's okay. So anyway, it's just, so the jaw is a forward. Correct. Uh-huh. So, and then, and then what I do with the butterflies, I spread it like this. I spread it like this. Well, what's the purpose of doing this? You help to tighten. You're bringing the jaw forward. You're tightening all of this. Mm. You're increasing the range of motion and you're helping to get the jaw forward. Because remember, mm. airway, your jaws are back, right? Mm -hmm. You want to try to get that jaw... If you can mm. keep that, that, the whole concept behind the oral appliance, right? The mandibular advancement device is they bring the jaw forward. Mm. And why is because the tongue is attached to the mandible. So when you bring the mandible forward, you're bringing the tongue forward. And that's mm. why I love these. Um, and TMJ, right? These are, these are commonly used for, to help with TMJ or mm. the range of motion for temporal mandibular joint disorders. Um, and so this is another great way to engage the pterygoid muscles, the lateral pterygoid muscles and the medial pterygoid muscles. So mm -hmm. this is the other way that I'll do it is I'll do it like this, go side to side. Mm. I, I spread it and then I have four contact points. Yep. Spread. Mm. And then there's four, one, two, three, four, mm. right? And I go side to side mm. and feel it here. Okay. So your pterygoid muscle, right? Your medial pterygoid muscle and your temporalis muscle are what move your jaw side to side. Mm -hmm. So this is great to maintain jaw motion, the full range of motion, and you're engaging your muscles, right? For that temporal wasting that I was talking about earlier. So that's another way to engage your temporalis muscle because it helps move the jaw side to side. So you're engaging mm -hmm. it a little bit differently. Uh, mm hmm Again, you're toning all of this, right? All this is is getting moved and, and there's just so many great benefits. So that's a great one for TMJ. You'll see them using without a tool, but I like the tool because it stabilizes the jaw. Mm. And, you can get a little okay. bit of and you're not mm. using a pen. People will use pens, markers, mm. barrettes, bobby pins, because they'll wear on the enamel. And mm, um, the teeth. Yeah, you want to keep your enamel safe. And so that's mm -hmm. why I like this silicone safe material. Yeah, so. because this is like a baby, baby bottle Correct. material, right? Mm. That's exactly right. It's mm. it's food and contact safe, FDA approved silicone material. So exactly. And mm. um exactly. Yeah, because you put it in the mouth, you want to make sure that this is safe. Hundred percent. It's antimicrobial mm. too. That's exactly right. So that it has those types of properties with it as well. So, and you can boil it. So mm. anybody that wants to sterilize, you can boil it just like an mm. infant pacifier. You can boil but these. Doesn't change the shape. Mm -mm. Doesn't change the okay. shape. So you can sterilize oh. these if somebody really wanted to. Um, same thing with the storage purse that you're taking around. This is silicone. This is water, uh, waterproof. So you've got the holes in the bottom to drain. So take this with you at all times. 
Um, if you're going for a walk, take it with you on a walk, do a little bit of these simple exercises mm -hmm. on the walk. You're multitasking, you know, <laughs> I, I, you know what I mean? I, like mm. I said, Coco, I do it. I did them on the airplane. <laughs> I was doing them on the airplane. Um, you know, you're busy. We're busy. Yeah. We have to carve it out um, mm -hmm. when you travel. And, um, you know, so it's just one of those things, you know, I, <laughs> you know me, I, I do them everywhere. <laughs> Yeah, I know you're doing the restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this time is a really great timing to get this because the 50% off, including 10% yes. from Coco and the 40% at site-wide discount. I know. So, yeah, when, like this week, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So today and today and through Sunday, through Sunday midnight. So, um, oh, you know, so okay. we can do this again. Like I said, there's so many exercises. It takes forever you know, like I said, the list goes on and on. Mm. Uh, it's so funny. Um, you know, okay. and I'll, and I'll... yeah. So everyone check the website and check the exercise. And then I guarantee that this will really be, be very beneficial. If, mm -hmm. especially if you having a hard time doing mewing, even if you are already, you think you're doing it, you might be not doing good enough yet. <laughs> because That's right. That's right. So start time. doing this. Uh huh. Mm. Start doing the tongue yeah, wag and the tongue row, and your your tongue will start to pop up right where you want it to. Okay. I know. So, so check it check it out beautyballoon.com. Yep. Okay. Mm. okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye, Coco. It was fun.